and we're going to go over the UF system. And uh, go ahead, Ed. Okay. Well, this is the system. It's designed to make about six gallons a minute of uh, filtered water. It's got five pressure gauges here at the top. The first pressure gauge is the inlet pressure coming into the system. And the second pressure gauge is the membrane pressure of the water feeding into this array of membranes. This is a very important, perhaps the most important gauge. You can always monitor this pressure to make sure it stays below 15 psi. It should normally be about 10 psi, right in this range. Then we've got the concentrate pressure uh, leaving the membranes. This is probably going to be around zero most of the time since it's going to open drain and there shouldn't be a lot of uh, back pressure. Then we have the filtrate pressure. This is the pressure coming out of the membrane, the filtered water going in the tank. This is very important to not have any back pressure on this pressure. We like to see it less than five PSI, and as shown here. Then we have the backwash pressure. This actually is the pressure coming out of this pump right here. It's actually not the pressure coming in. It's actually not the pressure the membrane sees. What the membrane sees during backwash is actually the same filtrate pressure gauge. And you should monitor that both during the backwash cycle and during the filtration cycle just to make sure there's no problem. This is just the pressure coming out of the backwash pump. Then we have four flow meters. Two of them are used to control the concentrate. One is just to measure the filtrate flow, and one is to control the flow rate during backwash. The two concentrates allow you to control how much concentrate flow comes out of the system and where you want that concentrate flow to go. One of them, allow, this first one, what we call the recycle flow, allows you to control how much flow of the concentrate goes back into your raw water tank. You don't have to put any back in your raw water tank, but you can, and if you do allow some concentrate flow, it will extend the life of the membrane somewhat and it will extend the time between backwash somewhat if you want to if you have uh, more challenging feed water. If you don't want to recycle the water back to your tank, you just want to send it to open drain, use this flow meter, open it up, and you can divert your concentrate to drain. My recommendation is that if you're going to use wastewater feed, reclaim water feed, you need to have some flow across one or both of these flow meters. Don't run the system with zero on both. You can run zero on this one if you recycle. You can run zero on this one if you run the drain, but don't run zero on both. The filtrate should normally be around six, seven gallons a minute. You can regulate that by opening and closing this flow control valve right here and by adjusting the concentrate valves here to your concentrate back pressure. Normally, if you adjust this valve to about six, seven gallons a minute, you'll be at about five to 10 PSI feed pressure, and that's where you want to leave it. Then here we've got some sample valves where you can check the water quality at different points in the system. This is in the feed, this is the concentrate, this is the filtrate. How, what's the other way to adjust this flow? One is with the red valve There's here. This, this regulates the amount of water that comes into the membrane. Okay. The, basically all the water coming into the membrane is going to try to be filtrate. So if you have, if you control that, you're going to get what you get here. You can make the membrane make a little bit more filtrate by making more concentrate back pressure by closing these down. But as I mentioned earlier, you don't want to close them all the way off. You want to have some concentrate flow here. I would suggest, you know, half a gallon a minute to a gallon a minute at least. Okay. Then we have the control system here which allows you to operate the system manually or automatically. Um, the primary switches you're going to use are these two switches right here. There's one that controls the overall system operation and there's one that controls the backwash. If you want to run manually, you put these switches in hand mode. If you want to run the system, for example, you just want to fil filter the water manually, you just put this switch, you have system in hand, this pump will run and you'll make water. It's like it's doing right now. There's a short time delay and then it starts slowly and then it starts to make filtered water. And if you put it in hand, it'll do that forever. Or at least until your raw water tank goes empty. Okay, it won't. Okay, if you put it in hand and you put the backwash pump in auto, it will backwash automatically. But it will keep running. As soon as the backwash over, it'll run again and run again. It won't ever care how full your filtrate tank is. It'll just keep running, 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 overfill your filtrate tank, doesn't care, just gonna run. If you want it to turn on and off automatically based on the level of water in your filtrate tank, 
you put this in auto. And if your filtrate tank is not full, the system will fill it up. And if your filtrate tank is full, it will stop automatically. So this is, under normal conditions, you're gonna put both of these in auto and you're just gonna leave it alone. And then it's gonna do, it's gonna run until the filtrate tank fills. Then it's gonna, when, then when the filtrate tank drops, it's gonna start again. When backwash, it's gonna backwash and stop. System's gonna start, it's just all gonna do it all automatically. Is that with this in filter position? When these are in auto, this switch has no function whatsoever. Okay. This, this switch only allows you to control the operation when it's manual. If you want to manually say, I want to backwash this right now, I'm going to make it backwash. You can put this, you can put this in backwash and you put this in hand and we'll force it to backwash. If you want to say, I want to run right now, I don't care about any tanks, I'm going to control this manually. Put this in filtration mode, put it in hand and make it run in filtration mode. So this only is functioning in manual mode. And when you're in hand. Correct. In the system main power, this is just your main on-off switch. When you want this, when you're not going to use the system, you can turn it off. When you, anytime you want to run the system, whether it's main or automatic, you have to put this on, and then the power light will be on. You have your two fault lights here. If you have, for any reason, you have a, the, your pump start to draw too much current, one of these will trip. You'll have to reset the system. And you have your indicator lights on your tanks. You've got a raw water tank low level, so if your raw water tank is too low. We don't want to run this pump dry, it'll stop automatically. If your filtrate tank gets too low, same thing, we don't want to run the backwash pump main uh, dry, so it will stop. And then if your system is in automatic mode, it's going to stop automatically when the tank full fill. This light will turn on when the tank is full and the system is stopping. It, it's, sometimes people walk up to the machine and it's not running, they don't know why. If you look here first, and say, oh, okay, the tank's already full. Yeah. Okay, that's for the main uh, automatic function. Basically, you're going to, from an operational point of view, you're going to adjust these valves. You can adjust that valve. Everything else is going to be, uh, once you get it adjusted, you can leave it alone and just let it run automatically. What position should all these valves be in normal running? Um, all the manual ball valves, as a rule, should be open, with the exception of this drain valve right here. This is to manually drain the valve if you want to just drain the system out. It's for maintenance purposes. Okay. That'll take all the water out of the membranes right. themselves. Right. That's just for maintenance purposes. Uh, the, uh, all these other ones are just to get, you know, that this valve over here is allowed so you can take your concentrate back to your raw water tank. This is your main inlet from your raw water tank. So all the raw water tank connections are on this side. All the filtrate and drain connections are on this side. So this is from the filtrate tank filtrate out to your filtrate tank, your drain, and then that's your main drain over there. This is to drain the membranes, that's to drain the hole, to drain your concentrate and backwash and everything that goes out. Okay. Those are your four connections on this.